if I talk, if I walk you through the series of what I did, a number one is I actually recognized that I had a problem and I, and I realized that I was the one that did it. So that was the first step. The second thing I did is I, I opened up to another person. I, I told Zach exactly what I had done for 20 years. Zach I've been watching porn for every single day, I've been lying to girlfriends about it. I've been, I've been keeping secrets from people, I have a secret laptop at home. So I admitted the truth to myself, took responsibility, and then I opened up to another person. And I told Zach that day, I said, dude, I'm so committed and I'm ready to get this out of my life. Like, A number one, will you hold me accountable? So I got some accountability. So I brought in somebody from the outside to then have a, like, play a role in my recovery. And I think that's an important part here. And then the next thing I had to do is I was in a long-term relationship at the time. We were living together. Okay. So she needed, she needed to know. So that came the next day is that morning, I walked into the room where Stephanie was getting ready. And I said, I just kind of just dumped it all out on her. I know you know I probably watched this stuff. I don't think you really understand the severity of it, so forth and so forth. I had had a secret laptop that was only for consuming pornography. So it stayed in the closet. When she would leave the house, I'd pull the laptop out, and that's where I would watch porn, and then I would just go back. Because I had been caught before where people like look at your uh, browser history. I'm like, it's not going to happen. I'll just, I'll, just, I'll just hide it, um, which is a sign of an addict, right? Like, you know, you're keeping secrets. You have a, set, a secret life. Very clear signs there that I wasn't willing to accept back in the day um so when i ripped the computer apart it for me that was like the defining moment like i'm so committed to doing this i'm going to remove the access point out of my life um the next thing i did is i called another friend and i got more accountability but when i say it took me 20 years to quit porn in one day i had to make that decision that day on february yeah, 14th yeah the next three months like I didn't, I wasn't aware of what I was really doing, but what I did has become the foundation for our recovery. So I got into gratitude, right? I started praying every single day. I started journaling. I started having regular conversations with men. So I created a community for myself, all keeping me away from having to chase this, this meaningless pleasure. So I know that's kind of a long winded story, but I was introduced to it at six years old. It stayed with me my entire life. I never began to look at it as a problem until I was in my mid thirties. Um, and then by the grace of God, taking responsibility, having that conversation, bringing in accountability, and then just allowing the process to unfold. So these next three months really transformed my life. And this is when I got into like my brain rebooted, it reset, and I began to see the world a little bit differently. And this is what really excites me about the work that I do is I get to take men through that journey that I yeah. went through that I didn't understand at the time. But now I can kind of let them know like, this is what you get to look forward to. You get to, you get to see yourself having a bigger meaning and purpose in your life. You get to finally become the man that you were created to be, that greatest version of yourself. You get to maybe start new new business ventures. For me, a podcast came out of this, and then the podcast became a new venture and a new company. And now we've reached you know sixty thousand people a month with 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 our message, and we've had thirty five hundred men you know go through our coaching books and programs. So it's been really amazing journey these last three and a half years. But it all started by recognizing that I had a problem. I was the one responsible for it, and then just taking massive ownership that like I was willing to do whatever was needed to get this out of my life.